Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 37, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been exploring the Magic Kingdom, uh, and Hasia, and Kajar, and now Zeal. And I just realized that before I do any of the next steps, I want to step outside real quick and uh, save my progress. Because uh, I know there's a couple things coming up that I definitely want to be wary of. So we got three doors. We're going to take them from right to left because why not? So we've got in here. Lady Shala's pendant was made from the same red stone as the Mammon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. Oh, interesting. Let me open the book. Nope, apparently not. Okay. So you're going to tell us that that pendant is the same stone as the Mammon machine, a dream stone. Shala! Oh, Janice, you've returned. Is something wrong? The black winds. You feel the foreboding too? Don't worry, it'll be all right. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Hmm... Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, Your Highness. The Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Well, you know the Queen. Of course, my apologies. Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. <laughs> Go away. Go away now. Okay. Going away. We're nearing the end of the talkie-talkie run-around stuff. So, uh... Hang tight. Hmm. That pendant looks familiar now, doesn't it? Those doors look familiar, too. Hmm, are we finally at that point? Maybe. Her Majesty said she had business at the Ocean Palace. None may pass until her return. Your pendant, it looks identical to Lady Shala's. I heard that when Lady Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. That door cannot be opened from the outside, save with a powerful magic key like Lady Shala's pendant. Your pendant, it looks identical. I heard that when Lady Shala communes with a mammon machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, it sounds like we need to go to the mammon machine. And let's do this. Let's swap out a little bit of the party. In part because I know Ayla needs to earn some tech points and we're about to hit some combat. And in part because I know the next critter has a magic tab as a charmable. And I want to get more of those. <laughs> this way leads to the mem machine chamber. Prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Beyond lies the Mammon Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of Lavos surging from it. Yeah, there's no way that can be good. The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? Yes. I thought as much. Can you feel the flow of the mighty Lavos's power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. Hmm. Uh, 
let's do the talkie talkie before we hit the machine. If the Mammoth Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. O oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. I got news for you. When the Mammoth Machine was finished, the Queen became a different person almost overnight, a much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who oppose Her Majesty, and not just the Earthbound ones, vanish and are never heard from again. Hmm. Melchior. Wait a second. That name seems familiar too. The Guru of Life opposed the Queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it is terribly suspicious. The three Gurus constructed the Mammoth Machine from a reddish stone that has been kept in the Royal Treasury for generations. The Guru of Life, Melchior, was in charge of the plans and, con uh, and conducted a great deal of research on the nature of Lavos. But now, well, I'm sure you know the rest. Operating the Mammoth Machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. Excepting the Gurus, Lady Shala is the only one with such power. Really? This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Oh, that pennant. It looks just like Lady Shala's. When she clutches her pennant and prays to the Mammon Machine, the pennant radiates a strange light. It's almost as if it was speaking to the device in a language only the two of them could understand. Well, let's try it out. Something happened. Okay. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. So, these doors, which will gloss awfully familiar. And the chests that have the same seal can now be opened. We did it. Um, hmm. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, these are the bringers of disaster of whom I spoke. Indeed, they and the Gurus alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me? Fools, one and all. Dalton, seize them. Yes, Your Majesty, with pleasure. Golem. Alright. Then, uh, let's bring it. Ooh. That's alright. He's got that thing that does the, uh, half attack. Charm. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit him with lightning. Oh, she gone. Um, haste. Let's start dishing up the haste. I need to go ahead and raise. And cure. That lightning attack was pretty nasty. Okay. Let's do a combo. Thunder Chomp. Let's do a... Oh, bother. She doesn't have a group heal. Okay. Um, let's just keep round robining the cure twos. I didn't even see if that charm actually worked. I'll have to run it again real quick. Um, let's go combo charm. Because I think she was dead before she had a chance to do it. Oh, okay. Oh. Combo R whirl. Oh, no, never mind. She did. Alright, she 
she can at least get that done. Let's go for the electricity. This is not going well. <laughs> Coffee's late, huh? Alright, let's raise... There we go. And combo our world. This is not helping. I'm spending more time healing and recovering. All right, and let's raise and here too. Probably should have. Saved it for another um, duel, but okay. Alright, let's do... Thunder Chomp. Here too. As long as I keep Chrono and Marley alive. Now she's going to get them all up on the uh, physical attacks. Oh, good. Because it's a counter. Okay. Now we'll get Chrono. Now that Chrono's back, we'll go ahead and let's do an Iceberg Toss. And a Luminaire, and hope we can survive not having a heal ready. Oh, okay, good. We won. 1,000 XP, 35 tech points, 2,000 gold. Nice. Oh, my poor golem. You'll pay for that. Um, fear not. I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. Ah, uh, what a delicious diversion. Um, hmm... Well, this doesn't seem good. Hmm. <laughs> Idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use, and you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue Melchior. Are you all right? Quickly, you must flee the palace, and if you can, please free the Guru of Life. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Um, hmm. Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. What's the prophet going to do? Janice is going to say, don't. Oh, very well. I'll spare their lives. But in return, you will cooperate with me, Shala. Now, show me how it is you came here. Uh-oh. Hmm, so you came through here. Now, Shala, once I throw them in, you will seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me. You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. Hmm. I very well. Uh-oh. 
Oh. Hmm. That looks like a familiar seal, too. Please forgive me. Oh. Why did the prophet let us go? They take Lavo's power. Lavos get weak. Wait a minute. The design from the door. That pennant open. I've seen it in other places. Yes. Lots of places that we're about to go visiting and a hunting. That one in particular will be our last one. Alright, we're about to go adventuring. Let's check it out, Chrono. Alright, first things first. We need to hop on our dactyls. Yeah, was it here? No, I think it was this up. Yeah, this is the one that gives us the water. Oh, happy water all gone? Oh. Uh-oh. Is he going to change his trades? Okay, no, guess not. No, we're not going to trade just yet. Alrighty then, I guess we need to go head over to the gate and get back to the end of time. So let's do the Mystic Mountain Hop. Try to avoid some of the fights, get us through here a little bit quicker. I know they're easy, but um... Jump down. Yes. Well, curiouser and curiouser. We're missing two options again. All right. So first things first. I want somebody that speaks in whole sentences. And then we'll go ahead and restore all our hit points and magic points. And we'll save before I forget. All right, what's this guy got to say? Ah, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move through time more freely should you wish to return. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. Though sadly, I fear the man's mind left him in the course of those long years of research. Oh, really? By the by. Level 36, is that, uh, is that worth another, another trip to Specchio? Alright, we're 18 minutes into the episode, so let me try this one more time before I call it. Um, although, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, I just got to remember, that, that gives me two really good, uh... Uh, let's do Frog and Robo. That gives me two party heals, so I can double down on the Luminaire and the heals. You looking for some practice? Sure. All right. Here we go. Oh, he's going to jump right in on that lightning, isn't he? All righty then. So I'm going to go combo Luminaire, combo uh, heal. Tech. Cure Beam. Nope. Ah, I needed to hit everybody. That wasn't the Cure Beam I needed. I thought he had a different one that would have hit everybody. Alright, combo, Luminaire, combo, heal, tech. Heal Beam. Oh, <laughs> oops. Never mind. This isn't gonna work. I should have hit the right heel beam in the word go, and that would have uh, that would have done it. 
But you know what? I'll accept my fate. Punch him for nothing. Get zapped again. And, uh... Yeah, we'll try... I'll try this one more time. This time I'll hit the right heal beam. Okay. I win! I mean, technically, I, I am kind of... Not quite at the right level to be doing this with them. Come on. Heal my stuff. There we go. Alright. Let's try this one more time real quick. And then we'll call it an episode. What do you want? Yeah, let's do some practice. Alrighty then. Oh, and he's going to lead off with the light. With the, with the light. With the ice. Let's hit the luminaire. Let's hit the heal. Let's hit the heal beam. In between the two of those, that should keep us afloat. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to double down on Chrono doing the high-end attack. And then these two yahoos working nothing but heals. I forgot to check and see if they had a uh, heal combo. But I don't exactly have time in the middle of combat to keep checking so we'll just uh, continue as planned oof that hurt let's get all those heals in before yo mm -mm. well that ain't good yeah we're not quite there yet Maybe closer to 38, or with a different approach. Crush. Whoosh. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make that one. But even if he does, I might as well throw one more punch. Boom, boom. Done. All right. Yep. So you got your butt handed to you. Come on. Give me the stuff. Hit point, magic point restored. And we're going to switch the party back out. Mostly because we're about to do some traveling. But before we do... I'm going to hit the credits and say <laughs> thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still one more episode to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the last episode of the stream and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.